And what is, what is really troublesome about these scams is they can involve a significant amount of money, more so than, than, than some other scams. There's, there's one right now that, that's popular and is, 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 is really quite dangerous, and that's the Amazon scam. Uh, yeah, I, 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 they, they tried to get me in. I think I, when, I, when I got it first, and, and, you know, what it is, you, you get a text saying that, that it's a confirmation of one type or another for a, for a purchase, uh, of, usually of a significant amount of money. Of course, you've never made. It's, it's totally fraudulent. And um, your, your natural instinct is, you know, I don't want to have to pay for that. Uh, they give you a number or, or a place to contact. Uh, so what, what they do, of course, is they draw you in that way. And then it's a very elaborate scam, and they spend they spend some time with you because they have the potential of taking a, a lot of money. But let me tell you one story: um, it was a situation where a woman called in, and they they told and and, and they were very nice and, and very patient. It was not rushed like a lot of calls we receive. They're very patient. They they talked to the person, and basically uh, over time said, "Well, it looks like your information has been compromised." That's how how this got, uh, got uh, on there. And uh, they said, well, let me check, connect you with the FTC. Uh, so they connect, connect you with another imposter from the FTC, and that person will, will talk a little, little bit more, get a little more deeply, and then get into the, that they've got your social security number. And then they will, will get you to, to another federal agency that your social security number's been used in a crime, uh, down in Texas, in this case, and it was the, the DE, DEA, the Drug Enforcement Administration, that, that you were talking to. So, that, so they set you up with three or four different different federal people, and then they say, well, your whole system is jeopardized, as, as you can tell by what, what's going on here. So you're, you're all, if you have significant savings, the money that, pe money that people can get at, and the woman said, yes, yeah, about, about $20,000. And they said, well, what you should do, what you have to do to protect it, is go and withdraw it and mail it. This is unusual. And mail it to this address in California. It's a federal agency. Uh, it's protected by the federal government. You have no problem with losing your money. Uh, send it, send it to them. Well, she got, she got the twenty thousand in cash and sent it off to this address in California. And then, and then along came Al. Where's Al Morales? You'll hear from Al. Back there in the corner, you hear from him before. Along came Al, uh, the person got just a little suspicious and called the Attorney General's office. And Al jumped in and he said, well, when, where, when did you send the money? She said, well, you know, yesterday. How did you send it? Well, it was, it was through a, a service, a, a private service. And he said, well, let me see what I can do. So he called the person who ran the service. He said, well, we can stop this. We can stop the delivery. It hasn't taken place yet. So was able to stop the delivery, save the twenty, save the twenty thousand for this person, and then the the, the the person that run this delivery service, and Al may mention a little more about it, has been in contact with us on, on a number of other occasions on suspicious situ situations. 